Hello and welcome once again to the BHI Terror Watch where we uplift the name of the one true God. The Great I Am. The name of the Son Jesus Christ. And the name of the Holy Spirit the Comforter. The Holy Trinity. Three persons one Holy God. And we give double honors to our elders that rule well, that are the great pastors, teachers, prophets, evangelists, apologetics, puritanical warriors ministers of holiness and street preachers that preach and teach the word of God in these end times and are bringing the spiritual lost sheep to repentance to Jesus. And salutations to all brethren and sisters in the Lord Jesus living the Christian life and walking the Christian walk in sincerity and truth and even greetings to all the sinners skeptics and non-believers maybe the next minute might have you adopt a Berean spirit and bring you to repentance. While black Hebrew Israelites war with each other, others dubiously claiming that members of their twelve tribes are appearing whether it's the groups that claim the ten lost tribes are Latin American or those believing they are African. While overlooking or plagiarizing from true prophets. The real prophets of the Lord are truly speaking the revelations of end times prophecy in the word of Jesus. Ah we would like to give a special thanks to all the true prophets coming out against the falsehood of black Hebrew Israelism. We found a beautiful pair of videos from a true sister in Christ named Rachel's Dream. She is an example of a true end times prophet. Um, I'm making this video because for the last couple of days I've been going back and forth with a black Hebrew Israelite on my social media. Um, I know a lot of Christian people would probably say that it's not righteous to go back and forth uh, with someone because it causes confusion, but um, I personally believe that, you know, there's an audience watching and I don't want um, people to choose the wrong Christ because they are being misled so I have to say what I have to say um, for for my God um, the girl had some points that I want to share with you guys um, one of her main points for saying I'm trying to get some good light um, one of her main points for saying that um, Christ won't save white people is because she believed that the white man is a descendant of Isu. Isu it was um, Jacob's brother, twin brother, and Rebecca and um, Isaac's son. Um, she said that God hated him. And I was like, well, okay, didn't God hate him because he sold his birthright for food? And um, when you ask a black Hebrew Israelite a question about what the words say, they are going to say something off the wall that have nothing to do with the word. They may talk about you and what you have on. They're not going to combat what you're saying with the word of God. It's not going to be a debate. Um, it's going to be, they're going to start attacking your character instead of debating the word. Um, so she was just saying I eat pork and all kind of stuff. And so I'm like, okay, well, um, you say that I'm I'm a Jewish man and Isu is not a Jewish man, but didn't his, his mom and his mom and dad and his brother weren't they Jewish? And um, you know, she was like, Well, no, God didn't choose him. God didn't choose him. I'm like, Okay, well, okay, you know. So then I was like, well, you know, didn't Jesus say that we got to love everybody? You know, he said in the New Testament. Well, I don't believe in the New Testament. I said, well, if you don't believe in the New Testament, how could you believe in the Christ? And if you do believe in the Christ, wouldn't that make you a Christian? And, you know, of course, she didn't have anything to say to that. Um, so I was like, well, okay. Well, basically, I know for sure that I have Gentile in me. I have white ancestors. So that means that pretty much I have Gentile in me. So does that, do that mean that I don't get salvation? 
and she's like, well, I, we don't believe in the New Testament. And I'm like, well, if you don't believe in the New Testament, how can you believe in Christ? Like, and then she was like, well, um, um, we believe in, in, in Christ, but not the Christ of the New Testament. A white man wrote the book, the New Testament. I was like, okay, well, then she started telling me I didn't have the Holy Spirit because I wasn't believing what she was saying. I'm like, well, how are you going to tell me I don't have the Holy Spirit when you don't believe in the New Testament and the New Testament is the one that testify about the Holy Spirit? How can you believe in the Holy Spirit if you don't believe in the New Testament? And she was like, you know, she started talking about something else that was crazy. You know, she called me an antichrist. And I'm like, I'm going to be an antichrist and I'm sitting here talking about I believe in Christ. Either way it goes, it's always going to come back to a contradiction of the stuff that they teach and they preach. And we got to be aware of it. Um, Jesus um, commanded us to go and to love our brothers. Spread the word, the, the, king, the coming of the kingdom. We that's hateful. That all that stuff they preach and teach is hateful. Um, Jesus um, did not say anywhere in the Bible that he was not going to save the Caucasian race. That is some baloney, and that is doctrines of devils. And we have to pay attention to what we're listening to. Um, I know people want to feel like they're a part of something and that they're special, but you know, truthfully, we all are sinners, and nobody's special. We all need to repent and ask Jesus Christ to come into our lives and forgive us for our sins, um, so that we can um have salvation um as far as that young lady y'all all we can do is pray for her and hope that the lord show her the light and show her righteousness i know that i'm going to get attacked for this video that's fine um god didn't put me here to be liked um so you know you could talk about my hair you could talk about anything on this flesh but this is just a space suit i am spirit and so is christ he's spirit um this right here it i'm not gonna be living in this for the rest of my eternity um i don't know about you but i plan on being a spirit and being with my people and some of them include white people <laughs> God bless you guys. Thank you for listening to me. Y'all, we got to pray for these people. It's like a, the hateful army that's coming together. And like it's like they're getting stronger and stronger. This lost generation of children that's coming up right now with no God and no respect. Y'all, we got to pray for them. God bless you and thank you for listening to me. Hi, YouTube. Today is July 30th, 2015. I'm making this video because I want to share a dream that I had with you guys. Um... Okay, the dream starts out with me being in Israel, and I'm walking by the Welling Wall. If you don't know what the Welling Wall is, it is the remnants of the temple, the last temple that was built for God by the Jews. Um, of course, that temple was destroyed, and all that's standing is a wall. And the Jewish people go up to the wall, and they pray at the wall, and they cry. And um, that's why they call it the Welling Wall. Um... Well, in the dream, I'm walking by the Welling Wall, and um, I saw rocks falling from the wall. Um, it was small rocks, like it was about to collapse. So I said, let me move. Let me get away from this wall because it's about to fall. So I found myself in a high place, looking down at the wall, and I saw children approaching the wall. And um, I was told that they were the children of Israel. And when they got close enough to the wall, the wall collapsed and fell on the children. Um, in this dream, I was having a dream. And I was explaining the dream to my husband. Um, so it was a dream inside of a dream. I'm telling my husband about the dream that I had with the um, welling wall. And we're in the room while I'm telling him this dream, and I'm facing him, and there's a big window. And when I look out the window, there is a, a horizon of a city. And I don't know what city it was, but I could see buildings and things like that. Um, and so there was a baby facing the window. And I said, who baby is this? And I picked the baby up, and I looked at the baby, and the eyes were black. They were completely black, and the baby was black. It was an African-American baby. And um, I said, oh my gosh, this is an evil baby. So I put the baby back on the ground facing the window. And um, 
as soon as I did that, bombs started to fall on the city from the window. And I knew that it was the baby who was controlling, who was controlling the window. Yes. Who was controlling the bombs. Um, I think that this is a very, very deep dream that I had. And that's why I'm sharing it with you guys. Um, I think that God is warning the Jews. They have yet to turn to God, uh, turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as the Messiah, um, God's chosen son. Um, and um, God is, is he's saying to them, you know, turn to me, accept my son. And, you know, and they refuse to do that. But, um, you know, with all that's going on in the news right now, Iran and all the other things that are happening and all the threats that are aimed at Israel, um, this is a time for us as brothers and sisters in Christ to pray for Israel and um, pray for America because we are living in dangerous times. God bless you. Thank you for listening to my dream. And um, if you have any questions, uh, leave me a message. Um, if you want to say anything about the dream, you can leave a comment, subscribe. God bless you, and thank you for listening. So this morning, I had a powerful dream that I know that came straight from the Holy Spirit. Um, in the dream, I was leaving my home, going to the store down the street, and I heard the sound of what sounded like like a firework, like over my head, like the, the not good with sound effects. But um, it shot over my head, and um, when it landed, I, I saw that it was a missile. They were falling all around me, and um, I was thinking, oh, my God, I got to get home. I got to get to my family. So I started to run, and I'm thinking to myself, man, um, I'm surprised I'm not dead by now the way these missiles falling. But I managed to get home, and um, I found my daughter. And um, my husband met me. We met up at a trailer, a trailer that you would carry like a farm animal in. And um, the trailer, on the trailer, there were people that I know from Facebook and YouTube, um, spiritual saints that I knew from Facebook and YouTube and we were all meeting there and waiting there and I know that it was nothing but God you know the power of the Holy Spirit because we were being brought together on something that you know you can her take herds of sheep in and I know that it was God like letting me know that you know once those missiles start falling then you know the elect is going to come together and that is something amazing to look forward to in the midst of tribulation um there was another situation um that was happening in that dream um i do have two teenage children um if you are familiar with my videos you you know of them um and um my son i'm gonna ask you guys to pray for him because um, I saw him in the same dream, um, and, uh, when I went to get my family, he kind of refused to get on the trailer. He decided that he didn't want to be where we were going, and he went another direction. Um, so I'm just going to ask my family out there to pray for him. And pray that eventually God lead him in a direction to where he will, you know, be able to stand on the side of Jesus when it's time. Um, man, y'all, God is so good. I, I actually had another dream the day before um, about, um, it, was a, it was just chaos in the land. Chaos everywhere. And I'm watching it. And it was dark. And, you know, I'm watching all types of ungodly things happening. Um, it was like looting and stealing and just darkness. It was just darkness everywhere. And I saw sand um, come together and form the face, a face of Jesus. And he started speaking. And he was not, he was not happy. 
at all. Um, I think he was speaking something that, speaking some judgment onto um, our land. Um, but you know what, you guys, we got to stay prayed up. We got to stay in touch and we got to be strong. We got to, you know, just look forward to our Lord God coming, which he is, like he said he would. And, um, man, it's just, I just, I couldn't wait to get up and share that dream this morning because I know it was nothing but the Holy Spirit, the way we were all together seeing faces that I know from Facebook and YouTube. Um, we're all just happy and missiles falling around us, but around us, but nothing can touch us. I know that it was just God showing, showing me that, you know, in the end, we're all going to be together. I, I've seen some, matter of fact, I can name some people. Um, I, Begley, I saw um, Bear Hayes, I saw, and his wife and family, and I saw, I just saw a whole lot of people. I saw um, Tara um, and her husband, Joseph. I know y'all don't know some of these names, but man, the, it, the faces, it was many faces that I saw. And I just thank God that, you know, he's put, he's bringing us all together before he comes. God bless you. Thank you for listening to me. If you don't know Jesus Christ, accept Jesus Christ into your life and into your heart before it's too late. It is not worth staying here. I know you're probably thinking it's not going to be that bad. Yes, it is. It's going to be something that the world has never seen before. Give your life to Jesus Christ. And, um, you know, man, the feast is going to be a great feast. God bless you, and thank you for listening. We at the BHIT would like to thank you in the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua Mashiach. We also would like to honor a brother in Jesus, Rob Light. Brother Light speaks straight truth on what repentance is and how the real end times are as opposed to those opposing views championed by false prophets. A follower of... Jesus Christ is not sidetracked by all the many troubles that are in this world, all the many end day theories. He's not trying to bug out to escape God's judgment. He's not making plans to preserve his life. Rather, he's only interested in pleasing the Master Jesus Christ because his faith and trust is in Jesus. At this time we have many Christians who are uncertain about the future and what it holds. They're uncertain about the monetary situation of this world, the economy. They're full, filled with uncertainties. But Jesus said, come to me and I will give you rest for your souls. In these uncertain times, dear friend, we need to be having an hour-by-hour relationship with Jesus Christ so that we will know the way to go and he'll guide our footsteps in the way to go. We don't want to be distracted by all these things that are mounting up around us. Trouble will come. The wrath of God will come. But those who please Jesus and live for him are busy doing his work because that is all that matters. All that matters is what Jesus is going to say to you when you stand before heaven's gate. Is he going to say, come, my faithful servant, into my kingdom prepared for you? Or is he going to say to you, go away, I never knew you, depart from me, you worker of sin because you never took the time to seek Jesus to know him. Dear friend, today does Jesus know you? Do you know him? Jesus bless you. Additionally, we at the BHI Terror Watch would like to honor our brethren in the Holy Land that are proclaiming the truth of the Messiah in these end times. They truly are filling true prophecy. Yeshua, זה לא עוד דעת או מצוות. למען האמת, הוא נלחם נגד הקונספט של דתות. הסיפור מתחיל בתורה. שם מסופר על מערכת יחסים בין אלוהים לבני האדם. 
כאשר בתחילה העניק להם אלוהים את זכות הבחירה החופשית. יחד עם הזכות האדירה הזאת לבחור בעצמנו, הגיעה גם אחריות אדירה, מאחר שלבחירה שלנו יש תוצאה והשלכה. כדי לקבל החלטות מושלמות, עלינו להיות מושלמים. אבל מזה אנחנו ממש רחוקים. ההחלטות שלנו מתקבלות מתוך קונפליקט פנימי, מאבק שיש בתוך כל אחד ואחת מאיתנו. מאבק בין לעשות את הטוב, להתחשב באחר, לבנות, לעודד, לדאוג לחלש, לקבל את השונה, או בקיצור, לאהוב את הזולת, לבין להיות אנוכי, לשים תמיד את עצמנו במרכז, ולרדוף אחרי מה שמרגיש לנו ממש טוב. גם אם על הדרך אנחנו דוחפים ודורכים ולא אוהבים אחרים. וזה אגב נקרא בתנ״ך חטא. המאבק התמידי הזה שבתוכנו, שבין החטא החושב רק על עצמו, לבין אהבת הזולת, הוא ממש כמו מגפה עוברת בתורשה. כולנו נושאים אותה ומדביקים בה. מגפת החטא היא הסיבה שהעולם מסביבנו נראה כפי שהוא נראה. אם כולם היו דואגים תחילה לצרכיו של האחר, כיצד היה נראה העולם? אבל אף אחד מאיתנו לא מסוגל לאהוב ולהתחשב באופן מושלם בכולם. כולנו מקבלים החלטות שגויות ופוגעים באחרים, או במילים אחרות, חוטאים. וזוהי בדיוק הסיבה מדוע אנחנו מופרדים מאלוהים. כי בעוד הוא מושלם ויש לו סטנדרטים מושלמים, אנחנו אפילו לא קרובים. תסתכלו מסביב, הבחירות שלנו משפיעות על הכל. החל מסכסוכים קטנים ועד לשנאה וגירושים. מיריבות בין דתות ועד למלחמות מחרידות, מזיהום הסביבה ועד לאסונות טבע ומחלות נוראיות. כל אלו תוצאות של הבחירות השגויות, החטאים שלנו ושל אבותינו בכל הדורות. אז אם הבעיה שאין שלום מבפנים, הפתרון לא יכול להיות חיצוני. אם לפתע ייעלמו כל הטילים והנשקים, אנשים עדיין ירימו מקלות ואבנים. הרי כבני אדם תמיד נמצא דרכים אל מריבה ומלחמה. החטא והשנאה אולי מתבטאים במעשים חיצוניים, אך מקור הבעיה נמצא עמוק עמוק בפנים, במאבק שבו לב מקולקל מייצר חטאים. דתות לא מסוגלות לתקן את הלב, הן רק יודעות להתחיל מלחמות ולבנות בתי תפילה ענקיים ומפוארים, בעוד שבפתחם נשכחים העניים והרעבים. הפתרון שהן מציעות כדי לרצות את אלוהים זה ללפף על היד רצועות עור צבועות של חיות מתות, להפריד בין בשר לחלב, להעריץ רבנים ולנשק ידי כמרים. כאילו ככה אנחנו מרשימים את אלוהים. בעוד בברית החדשה מלמד ישוע שמצוות והלכות לא יכולות לתקן או לשנות לבבות. דת היא כמו לנסות לרפא איידס עם תחבושות. ישוע לימד שכך לא תיפתח לנו הדלת למלכות השמיים המושלמת, ושאנחנו פשוט לא מסוגלים להציל את עצמנו בעצמנו. בתכלס, לנסות לתקן את הלב בעזרת דת, זה ממש כמו קבר מסויד, שבפרחים מקושט. זה אולי נראה טוב מבחוץ, אבל בפנים, בשורש הבעיה, הכל רקוב. בלז פסקל כתב כי ואקום בצורתו של אלוהים קיים בליבו של כל אדם. כבני אדם, לא דת ולא שום דבר חומרני יוכל למלא את החור שבליבנו או להעניק סיפוק אמיתי לחיינו. וזה בגלל שלא עבורם נבראנו. אם דתות מורות איך עלינו לנסות להגיע אל אלוהים בכוחות עצמנו, אלוהים אמר לא, זה אני שאגיע ואתגלה אליכם כאחד מכם. להתגלות הזאת בתנ״ך ובברית החדשה מספר כינויים, כאשר הידוע שביניהם הוא המשיח. נביאי ומלכי התנ״ך מעניקים לנו תעודת זהות לקווי דמותו של המשיח. ישעיהו, שניבא שאופן לידתו יהיה אות על-טבעי. מיכה, ניבא שמוצאותיו מימי עולם ולידתו בבית לחם. משה ניבא כי הוא יהיה מנהיג גדול ממנו. דוד המלך תיאר אותו כמושלם. דניאל ניבא כי הוא יבוא וימות לפני חורבן בית המקדש השני. ישעיהו ניבא כי העם שלו ידחה אותו והוא יסבול הרבה ייסורים. אך במותו יצדיק אותנו רשעים וחוטאים. המלכים דוד ושלמה תיארו אותו כבן האלוהים, התגלמות לעולם בדמות אדם. ירמיהו ניבא כי בו תיחרט על ליבנו ברית חדשה, שסוף סוף תטפל בשורש הבעיה. בעוד בברית החדשה 
מתואר כיצד הנבואות הללו מתגשמות בחייו של הישראלי המפורסם ביותר בהיסטוריה, ישוע. המשיח מנצרת השאיר לנו דוגמה לחיים מושלמים. לא רק של מוסר גבוה, טהרה, צדק ואמת, אלא גם של חסד וחמלה, סליחה ואהבה. אהבה המקריבה מעצמה עד סופה. כזאת שלוקחת את העונש שמגיע לנו על עצמה. לא כי אנחנו טובים יותר מאחרים, או כי מגיע לנו משהו, אלא כי ככה אלוהים הפגין את אהבתו. אהבה המשפילה ומקריבה את עצמה עבורי ועבורך. אבל לא שם נגמר הסיפור. המשיח שקם לתחייה הבטיח שמי שיאמין בו ינחל חיי עולם. הוא ישכין בו את רוחו, ירסק לו את לב האבן, ויחל לשנות אותו מבפנים אל בריאה חדשה. כך במאבק נוכל לנצח את מגפת החטא, לזכות במשמעות רוחנית לחיים, ולקבל גישה למלכות האלוהים. אמנם לא הנהיג צבא או עמד בראש אימפריה, לא כתב ספר וגם לא שיר, לא היה סלב וגם לא ראש ממשלה. ואף על פי שלא היו רשתות חברתיות בזמנו, בכל זאת היום, אלפיים שנה אחרי, אנחנו והמוני אחרים רואים בישוע הדמות המושלמת לחיקוי. זאת מאחר שאהבתו והמילים שיצאו מפיו סחפו אחריהן וחוללו ניסים ונפלאות בחייהם של יהודים רבים תחילה וגם כאור לגויים. החל בעת חוייה החברה ופשוטי העם ועד לשליטים, מלכים ופילוסופים דגולים. מילותיו של ישוע הפיקו חיים ותקווה במקומות חשוכים. מילים שהיוו מקור השראה ליותר ציורים, שירים ו- וספרים ואף חקיקות עמים מכל אדם אחר בהיסטוריה. המסר של ישוע כיהודי היה מהפכני. הוא לא היה מסר של דתיות, של הלכות עשה ואל תעשה. הוא לא כפה על בני אדם לנסות ולמצוא את דרכם אל אלוהים על ידי מצוות או מעשים הזויים, אלא דיבר על החסד והאהבה. של אלוהים כלפי כולם, יהודים וגויים. מסר שבחייו גם הדגים, כאשר מסר את עצמו למוות בעד חוטאים. אז בואו נודה, דת רק מרחיקה מאלוהים, והיא יוצרת מלחמות ושנאה בין אנשים. כי הדברים האיומים והנוראים שעשו לעמנו נוצרים מסוימים, זה לא יותר ממעשים דתיים. הרי מה שהדת אומרת תעשה, ישוע כבר עשה. את מה שהדת כובלת, ישוע משחרר. בזמן שהדת מעוורת, בישוע יש ראייה מחודשת. לכן, כיהודים, אנחנו לא יכולים להרשות לעצמנו לשים את ישוע על המדף עם שער ההוגים. אי אפשר להתעלם מדבריו ומעשיו. מדובר לא רק בדמות היהודית המפורסמת בעולם, אלא גם המשפיעה ביותר בכל הזמנים. ואת מה שעשה בחיינו, הוא גם עושה בחייהם של אחרים. אז אנחנו מודים ראשונים, אנחנו לא מושלמים, אלא חוטאים, אבל בישוע מצאנו סליחת חטאים וחיים נצחיים. אז אל תיתנו לדוד עובדיה, למורה שולה, או לרב מהבר מצווה לחשוב במקומכם. הם הרי לא יהיו שם להחזיק את ידכם. תחקרו, תקראו ותלמדו על ישוע בעצמכם. Our ministry, One for Israel, is an initiative of native-born Israelis on the forefront of media and high-tech evangelism, boldly proclaiming salvation to Israel. Raising up leaders and equipping them with the tools they need to transform our communities. We also provide humanitarian aid to Holocaust survivors with the love of Yeshua. Join us as we share the gospel in Israel. Become one for Israel. We would at the BHIT like to say thank you to each and every one of these brothers and sisters in Christ that proclaim the unadulterated word of God and speak the prophecies in sincerity, spirit and truth. May the grace of Jesus be upon you and may the blessings of the Most High be upon you also. Thank you. And this should prove to be revelation to all you black Hebrew Israelites. That the real prophecy is not coming from you bombastic charlatans, but from the real God chosen God sent Jesus molded Holy Spirit approved true men women and children of God. You can learn a lot from each of the people mentioned.
and we now call on you to consider what has been said in these videos and to come and rethink your black Hebrew is realism, know that it is contrary to the real gospel of Christ and repent. Repent to Jesus Christ and come to him. Additionally to all those watching Pitero watch. We encourage you to watch more videos from Rob Light Rachel's dream and one for Israel. Go to their channels and others like them, and learn more. Then maybe you may adopt a Berean spirit and rethink what it means to be a follower of the real Most High and Christ. Today we give to you in closing five words. Repent. Believe. Come to Jesus. Thank you. This has been another edition of BHI Terror Watch. The Black Hebrew Israelite Terror Watch. A service of Puritanical Holiness Ministries and Affiliates.